Okay, so now we are going to talk about the Holland codes. Um, as you can see here, I have a grid down here, uh, a beautiful, colorful circle. These are the Holland's co Holland codes. They're named after a researcher with the last name of Holland, and he decided that there were kind of six categories in which the majority of careers in your interest would fit based on what you want to do personally and then where that career is. And so just to real quick recap them, you can read here, I don't need to go over them, but you have a realistic, uh, things like practical, scientific, public health, dentist, veterinarian, stuff like that. Um, you have investigative, these are kind of your researchers, your scientists, um, epidemiologists, huge now with COVID going on. Artistic, right? Um, not only is it just being an artist, but also you're really good at communicating, a communication specialist, uh, public health, you're intuitive, you're creative, you're gonna think outside the box a lot. Social, educators, uh, promotion specialists, you can see these are all kind of health driven, but you get the idea, right? You want to enlighten, you wanna form, this is a teacher, a professor. Um, enterprising, these are the people that are gonna influence, these are the people that are gonna start their own businesses, they're policy makers, they're planners. All right. And then conventional, these are data-driven people, accountants, uh, admin data administrators, analysts, anything like that. And so these are the Holland codes. And so what you're going to do in your assignment today is you're going to come to this thing right here. Um, it tells you first to complete this interest assessment. So you have to do that first before you do anything else. I'm going to tell you, make sure you read these instructions. It tells you exactly how to navigate the assessment once you have finished your uh, interest assessment. So. I go here and I'm gonna take this test real quick. So I'm gonna pause this video and then I'm gonna come back and start recording and show you how to get your results. And I'm just going to randomly pick stuff. So do not judge me for this. Okay, so back to recording here. You can see my interest. I took my survey. Like I said, this does not reflect to me. I clicked a bunch of random stuff, but that should not be the case for you. Okay, so then once you've got your things, you can see R-I-A-S-E-C. You can see the scores that come with them. If you come over to the Holland's Codes, you can see R is for realistic, I for investigative, A for artistic, S for social, E for enterprising, C for conventional. Okay, that's what that means there. Okay, then you come back over here and it says in your interest box, click on what does my score mean and list the score of each category. Now that I've told you they match up, you can just write these down, right? R would be right here. I think that, what was that, 11, 14, so it'd be 11, 14, and so on and so on, okay? You can also just click on this right here. What does my score mean? Which will get you in here anyway, and it'll spell it out for you. So I'm physically going to write 11, 12, 14, 12, 14, 11, 12, 14, 12. I'm going to write those there, okay? Then number two says, then scroll down beneath the graph bar, which is what I just went through, and read your top three highest scored categories. After reading through each section, write a summary about what each category means. So my highest two are tied. I'll let you pick if that's the case. So I need to scroll down to investigative, I need to scroll down to social, and then my third is artistic. So I'm just gonna do them in that order. I would scroll down to investigative. I'm gonna read everything there is to know about the investigative, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna write investigative and give me a two sentence summary about that one, okay? And then my second highest one, let's see, was social. So I'll scroll down to social. I'll read everything in here, okay? And then I'll come back over here and I'll write social and a two sentence summary about that, okay? And then I'll do the same thing for my last one, which I believe was artistic. So I would come down and find artistic. I'd read everything about it and then I'd go from there, okay? Then I click back to results to move back to the next screen. So I'm gonna scroll up and click back to results, okay? And then it says, next, scroll through the list of jobs that are best matched to you based on your assessment answers. They are automatically sorted by the best match based on your assessment answers. Find three jobs that you think look the most interesting to you Watch the video and then fill out the information for both. So what you're going to do, all of these right here are now put in best interest, right? You can see it says best here. They automatically took all the best ones and they alphabetized them, right? So if you just want to sort by best, high to low, A to Z, whatever the case is, but just scroll through and see like when I was growing up, maybe I wanted to be um, an anthropologist and study that. So I would click on this, okay? I would come over here. I would write anthropologist. I'd find the, all the other things I need, the median salary, the education needed, the annual projected job openings, and a summary of what you might do in a day. All of this is here. You can almost copy and paste most of this information, okay? And then once you're done with that one, you go back and you scroll through and you're like, I don't like any other ones. I'm going to page two, right? Scrolling through, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, educators. That's what I do. I click on that one and I'd write that one down, right? So you get that you're gonna do three of those. Once you've done three, 
you're done and you can turn this in on Canvas.